New concerns tonight about what Utah's air pollution is doing to our health. This is documentation that the air pollution particles that we all inhale every day actually penetrate our brains and get into our brain tissue and stay there. A new study shows that tiny toxic particles could play a role in making us at higher risk for Alzheimer's disease and even autism. New specialist Jed Bull spent today looking into what we can do about it right now. Jed? Yeah, Dave, right now our cars, our power plants, the refineries, and other heavy industry are spewing particulate pollution into the air that we breathe. According to new research published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science, we need to do more to eliminate those sources. The lead author called this shocking information. Dr. Brian Mensch, president of Utah Physicians for a Healthy Environment, says this new study gives a vivid understanding of how pollution particles known as magnetites enter the brain and do damage. This is further evidence, very strong evidence, that in fact air pollution harms all kinds of um, organ systems, but in particular the brain. Especially during winter inversions, when many of our communities are shrouded in thick smog. Study shows our automobile and industrial combustion creates the nano-sized magnetites, which have metals attached to them, including iron oxide and platinum. When we inhale those particles, they attach to the nerves in the nose and migrate to the brain stem and end up in the frontal cortex. They can also be inhaled into the lungs and delivered to body tissues throughout the body, including the brain. These kinds of particles have actually been shown to be associated with things like Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Mensch says this study should motivate our state to address our pollution more aggressively than ever before. He says all pollution sources need to be addressed, heavy industry, power plants, and our cars. So we look, need to look more seriously at how do we curtail the industrial pollution along the Wasatch Front. And of course, we can all be part of the solution by driving less and looking for other ways that we can reduce our individual pollution. The Utah Air app, is also a great way to identify where and when the pollution is the worst so that we can avoid it. Dave? Jed Bull in Salt Lake County tonight. Thank you, Jed.